which they're like sisters and her cousin his cousin her cousin Ambrose so Sabrina's aunties as she calls them Helda and Zelda Hilda and Zelda they are they are related like they are sisters of Sabrina's late father Edward Spellman so like this is like a really interesting show because Sabrina goes to a regular school she has a boyfriend named Harvey she has like <coughs> Her friends, like her friends Susie and Ross are like her best friends. She goes to a regular school, Buster High, then she has to go to, you know, it's like really interesting and I like this show. I'm not gonna say anymore because I wanna spoil it, but that's my recommended number one. And I'll tell you a little bit of each show and movie so you guys know what it's all about. So you can guys, based on what they're, I'm telling you, you can guys go watch it if you want to. So yeah, anyways. My second recommended show is Raven's Home. Raven's Home is my favorite show. I've been a Disney fan ever since. I know I'm a kid at heart. I'm a Disney fan. Raven Simone is my favorite. I love her to death. So I used to watch That's So Raven when I was little. I used to watch it on Disney and I remember on ABC, like Saturdays in the morning, they aired this like, they had this like, they had this like block. I don't know what to call it. They had this like program, like, they had this like program on ABC like on Saturday mornings where they would air kids shows like they would air kids they would air like kids TV shows on Saturday morning on ABC I don't know if they do it anymore but they used to do it and I loved it like I used to watch That's a Raven I used to watch these shows over like two teens like two a couple of like two siblings that they're, they're like agents and stuff I don't remember the name but they're agents like it's a really cool cartoon like I used to watch a lot of kids TV shows on ABC Saturday mornings so yeah, Raven's, see, Raven, Raven's Home basically is like the story, it's like it's like the story of Raven and her kids because it's like the story, because in, you know, if you watch like that, so Raven, you know, like Raven lives with her parents, her brother, she goes to a regular school and stuff, but in that story, Raven is, it's like the story of Raven all grown up, she has kids, and she lives with her best friend Chelsea, which if you saw, that's where Raven, you might remember Chelsea, which is Raven's best friend. She lives with Raven. Chelsea lives with, moved in with, with a Raven, and she has a son named Levi, like Chelsea. And Raven's, son, Raven's kids are called Nia and Booker. So it's like a really good show. I'm waiting for season two to come out, which is my favorite. And I like the show, so that's number two. So for number three, my other recommendation would be. Um, good Girls, like Good Girls is my favorite TV show, so I'm explaining to you what Good Girls is. So good Girls is a TV show about three like women, their best friends. I don't like remember the names of, of them because I, was, I saw it a long time ago and it's not on Netflix. It's coming back, sick. season 2 is coming back May 31st, so I'm so excited. Now that I finished Sabrina, I can 
watch that again. So yeah, it's my favorite TV show. Like it's about three girls, right? Like three women, they're best friends, and two of them have kids. One, one of the women, I think one of the ladies ha has kids, I don't know how many, and the other lady has a kid who is a transgender kid. What the other lady is like, the other lady doesn't have any kids, but they're like three women, right? They're best friends, and the thing is, like, they I don't know, like, what they need it for, but like, like, they like the, the, the thing is, they need money. I don't know, like, what they did, but they're out of money, but they need money. So they go, they need money, so they go into the supermarket that well, they went to the supermarket that one of the lady works at. That one of they went to the supermarket that one the, that one of the lady work one of the lady works at and one of the three ladies that are best friends she was in a supermarket so they go into the supermarket and they st and they like rob the supermarket but the thing is that one that there's like this like really bad guy that they find out that the three ladies stole like robbed the supermarket and he says that that money is his that they robbed him that that money is his whatever so now. Now that I'm remembering, I think two of the ladies are, yeah, two of the ladies are sisters. I think two are sisters and one is like, they're like three best friends, but two of the best friends are sisters and one of one of them is just their friend. So like, it's really funny because like they rob like the supermarket one of the ladies worked at and this guy like finds out and he says like they, they robbed him, like that money is his and then they make them, he makes them do a lot of like crazy stuff because he says they robbed him and that money is his. So it's like a really funny show, I really like it. It's called Good Girls. Season two is coming on Netflix May 31st, so yeah. So for number four, I'm correct, for number four, Full House, obviously, Full House, Full House slash Fuller House, because you know, I gotta get those in too. So I've been Fuller House recently. So Fuller House tells the story of DJ, of DJ Tanner. DJ, DJ Tanner, she has three kids, Tommy, Max, and Jackson. Like, Max is the middle one, Jackson is the oldest one, and Tommy is a baby. So, DJ's sister, Stephanie, she moved in with her to help her, like, raise her kids. Like, Max, Tommy, and Jackson's father was a firefighter. His name was Tommy. Tom, Tommy. And he died a long time ago. So, if you guys have seen Full, Full House, if you guys have seen it, basically like the like the same story, but in Fuller House, in Fuller House, it's like Stephanie and DJ are all grown up, and DJ has kids and stuff. It's the same story, but they're all grown up, and she has kids and stuff. So that's like a really interesting show. I like it. It's like really nice. The one thing I, I like, I'm sad about is that Michelle Tanner like wasn't in Fuller House. Like I'm so sad about that. But it's like that's really sad. Like because I love her. It's my favorite. So anyways, that's number four. And for number five, I've been recently rewatching PLL, Pretty Little Liars, which is my favorite. This is the third time I've watched it. I'm on season two. I don't know episode what, but I'm on season two. This is my favorite show in the world. And yeah, basically, if you don't know, my Pretty Little, Liars, Pretty Little Liars is a show that's based on five, which you probably know because it was super popular back then. Even my sister watched it a long time ago. And my friends are super popular. It's a show based on five friends. So we have Spencer Hastings, Hannah Marin, Aria Montgomery, uh, Emily Fields, and Alison De Laurentiis. So, the show basically is about this girl who goes missing, and ever since she went, she goes missing, the four friends, they have been like getting this random text from someone, like they don't know who it is, they've been getting this random text from someone, they don't know who it is. And every time the phone like rings, they get the shivers and they get scared and stuff. It's like a super cool show. Like I really like it. I stopped watching it because I was watching Sabrina, but now Sabrina is over. I can start watching it again until Good Girls season two comes out. But it's a really interesting show. Like I don't know how. Like I don't know how to give you guys. Like I don't know how to s summary. Uh, I, I I don't know how to summary. Like how to summary the shows without giving you guys spoilers. Like I'm trying. I'm trying my best to explain the show in two in one in like three sentences without giving any spoilers in case you haven't watched it i'm trying my best to tell you guys what the show's about without giving any spoilers so if i do that i'm really sorry but i'm trying my best to give you guys to tell you what the show to explain you the show without giving any spoilers so anyway those are my five 
five. Yeah, those are my five favorite TV shows. So for movies, my favorite, my first movie, my first movie is oh yeah, to all the guys I've loved before. And this movie is about a girl who like she sent cards to all uh, like she sent she sent cards to all of like the kid to all the person she's loved before. She sent cards to all her lovers like the guy she's loved before. And then and then somehow like the somehow like the guy she's loved like somehow the card like surface and everyone knows about the cards. It's like pretty confusing. I said a long time ago, so I don't remember much about it. But that's pretty much what I remember about it. So just not like much. That's pretty much what I remember about it. So my movie, my favorite movie number three is Game Plan, which is also on Netflix. So I, anyways, this movie is fun because this movie is about a girl, right? It's about a girl. Her mom died a long time ago and she's staying with her aunt. So one day this girl finds out that her father is like this really huge, famous football player. He's like really famous everywhere. His name is Joe. I think it's Joe. He's like really famous everywhere. So he goes right to his house. He's like... His aunt thinks she's like going on vacation to Boston, but her aunt thinks she's going on vacation somewhere else, but she escapes. No, like her aunt thinks she's going to like this ballet school, I think it is. Her aunt thinks she's going to like this ballet school, but she's not. She like, she goes to her father's house, to this guy's house, and his name is Joey, I believe. And she tells him that she's her dog, his daughter, and whatever, and blah, blah, blah. At first, like the guy doesn't believe her. But then as the movie goes on, he he's like starting to feel for her and then he loves her and he cares for her and he fights for her custody. It's like a really nice movie, so I really like it. It's like really nice. So for my fifth movie that I like, my favorite movie, I watched this movie on Netflix a long time ago, but it's not in here, like The Vow. This is a really nice movie, it's not on Netflix, but I watched it a long time ago at the end. I'll do a bonus like a bonus movie that it is on Netflix so the bow this movie right it's about a pair like a boy and a girl like a man and a woman they get married right so this woman this movie is based on real like this movie is based on true and like this movie is 100 completely based on true like tr true things that this movie is completely 100% true all these things happened in real life it's a 100% true movie honest these things are based on true things that happen in real life so Right, this boy, this woman and this boy, right, this man, they get married. So one time, they were like, I don't know where, I think they were driving somewhere, and they get in an accident. So from that accident, like, her, her wife, like, she loses consciousness, she gets into an amnesia state, where she loses her memory, like, she lost her memory, she doesn't know, she doesn't know who her husband is, she doesn't know, she doesn't know anybody, she loses her, like, she loses her memory, she doesn't remember anybody. So it's like a really sweet movie, and the thing that it's based on true events and things that actually happen, like I googled it online, and like the pay, like the people that the movie is based on, like they're still married, they're happily ever after, and they're like they're, they got married again, they're still married, and it's a really nice movie. So that's a really movie that I like, that I think you should watch. And another favorite movie of mine is. Like this, oh my neck, I don't really watch, oh, okay, right. I watched this movie on Netflix the other day, it's called Little Mermaid. This movie is about a girl, right, who she's a mermaid. And she's like a part of this circus, she's like a part of this like circus. Like they like, I think they, they, I don't know if they robbed her or whatever, but they took her. And she's like a part of this circus, she's like, she's like, She's like a part of the circus, but she's like she doesn't want to be part of the circus. Like she's like they said forced. She's like forced. They force her to be a part of the circus. She doesn't want to. But then, as the movie goes on, she's like escapes of the circus, and this like guy or this kid I don't know helps her escape and stuff. So it's a really nice movie. So guys, also oh, so this is like that's the bonus. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a huge thumbs up. Comment down below your suggestions you guys have for me to film. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, like I said, give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you can be a part of my hashtag Chanty Squad and you won't miss any of my videos. And comment down below hashtag Chanty Squad so you can be in my next week's shout out. And I'll see you guys in my next video.